this is a video on scratch, scratch for second life this mode connects sec with second life a game to create models and etc like even movements and changing the costume itself and in a way we can program this using the blocks actually and then copy the Lindo linden script i think it's linden script yeah and then paste it into the whole, whole game itself but the most important thing is that this is developed by the scratch team member itself and uh, he is eric rosenbaum i think so sorry if i mispronounced anything but unfortunately i cannot run second life actually i would run it but it's flashing because of my memory lackage or something as i only have two gig gigabytes of ram it is very low you know and i'm running windows 7 at a classical mode so I cannot demonstrate it at while recording it itself. Maybe it would work while not recording it. I will try it. It was running well, but now it's not running because it's one bottlenecking my RAM. So, anyways, let's just jump into this modification of 0.1 or the version 0.1. And this is only a modern version of Scratch 1.1 for extra information. So, if you full screen this, of course, I think so you have seen that it's broken like this. That's why I don't like to make it full screen. But you can see some of the remnants are still there, remnants of the parts of scratch, like the sprite, the play button and all. These things are not even required, but they are still present if you needed it. I don't know whatever is the reason why it's still there. So it's kind of no normal like the scratch 1.1. If you want you can watch that video as well and also watch net scratch and another version of another mod of scratch created by the scratch team or at, at least in MIT or something so this too, this too saves using the .sp extension as you can see over here it's called it's not a scratch project my computer because it's already registered otherwise it's just a sb file .sp file that's what I'm coming to say actually I've seen this it's just a .sp file so it's saved using sb file but it's not compatible with the normal scratch versions so anyways I think the top thing you may understand. Also, you can undo some things. I think that's buggy at this times. Or you can just en enter some project notes. You can stick to R for turning the fill screen off for coding something. Actually, let me try that later or something. I don't know. I have no idea if I have time to review that. I already told I'm very bus busy nowadays due to examinations and all, which are coming out uh, coming soon. So, motion is motion. Let's just read from the motion category. You can just move by one mi meter. Actually, use meter in the game itself because it's a three-dimensional game. That could be the reason why you could use the one meter thing. And then also you can rotate by a particular degree in the game. It means it's not like a complete rotation. Like if the person is standing straight above, it will not be rotating to the opposite direction. Rather, it will be rotating the normal walking direction. That's what it's just walking direction, not the whole man will be rotated or something. And then this thing is for jumping and maybe squ squatting or something like that. I have no idea because I didn't try. And also it's not very compatible. That's what I told. Already I'm just suffering to run that program itself. You can also roll by a particular degree. Which means rolling the floor or something like that. And then pitch as well. And then you can also go and set home. Means you can set a home in a particular position. I think it will store it somewhere. And then you can also go home. Which is like a teleportation or something. And you can point towards nearest avatar. Actually, avatar means another person who's standing near you, who plays the same game as it's a multiplayer game. But of course, some scripts over here may may not work. I think so. But in single player mode, it'll work. I think so. I don't know if, if it has single player or whatever. But it's mentioned a lot on wiki, and I didn't read it properly, of course. Or maybe I didn't remember it. That's what is the meaning. And you can also check your direction. I think so this reporter should not work properly because this version cannot connect to the thing directly it uses linden script you have to copy the linden script and paste it to the editor you cannot do editor i don't know it's editor or whatever you can also check when i'm touched and do a particular thing like if one person is touching you and when i collide with somebody means some person then you can do something like saying sorry or something maybe you'll check the sample project after this if you have some time you can broadcast things which I can see that or you can even check for when I'm created I think so this one is for the single player world where some objects are created 
even the forward was kind of weird you know instead of being a c-shaped block it's being a hash shaped block itself which is very weird for me but it's interesting and of course you cannot execute it here because you need the editor it's just like an editor that's it for linden script but simplifies it that's the meaning of this thing scratch for second life you can wait one second you can repeat for a particular number of times even broadcasting which is amazing there's even if else st statement and you can just say hello i don't know say hello means it will just pop a bubble i think so i think i've tried that already it would cause a bubble to come up and then there's even a set text look at me i think so this would send a text message to somebody or something like that then even this change of change color effects i don't know what's which one is this for i think a single player world or something like that and then this is a ghost effects so i don't know much about that game that's why i cannot explain properly but anyway i'm just reviewing this mod also i was just busy working with the game itself so that to see if it's working or not so that we could we could make the review more interesting rather than being a boring old lecture or something but uh, anyways i'm just doing it that's all you can even check the distance to the nearest avatar nearest avatar means nearest person distance to the owner i don't know what is this about maybe the to the pet or something like that number of av avatars nearby which is number of users nearby it's a 3d game of course you know mmo rpg so something like that massive multiplayer games then even you can play sounds which are very amazing but it's a very limited category means you cannot choose sounds as you can see even if you make full screen you cannot choose sounds from here only one tab is there it's called scripts you can only pick up a drop down in these are the default sounds within the program itself that's why yeah, and i don't know how this works maybe you need to put some sound files into the folder of the second life or something and then put a name onto this and these are normal operators as you know actually i have no idea why they did remove that join strings and all those things maybe it's not necessary or something and then you can even do some pen stuffs change the pen colors and even put the pen up or down i don't know what is this for because i've never seen any feature like this maybe it's there i don't know and that linden scripts weakness is, is doesn't have arrays and all those things you can change the variable or set a variable to something actually also you can notice something weird here that it will appear like this separately like the reporters are over near by the port block itself and even this also some things are weird in this but still it's very cool anyways let's just create something cool like name test shall we say like yeah, that makes sense right say hello or when i collide it should be like i don't know what should we say when you collide maybe sorry that would be a polite word or something but of course i'm not going to be testing this out because i already told i was not being able to open it due to a ram bottleneck or something and i just got few takes as well as i told last time as well last time also but this time i took more takes like two more takes but i just gave up this time i'm taking the full video like that so let's copy the linden script so that you could see how the script looks like i don't know if, even if it's necessary for you guys but i'm just showing you how these things work like in the below there's something like xml encoding which is changed into an comment i think so this thing is the scratch blocks but this is this thing is the linden script actually that thing is commenting in linden script yeah this these are the main things but i think so we can remove comments i think so these are the comments that's what i say slash slash and it contains some bunch of stuffs it's also storing some things like color pen color color ghost size percentage like that and all and here is our script i think so so if touching you just need to say hello that's what is over here as you can see in collision it will say these things and this is just a initialization i think so it will always add to the script there are several other some kind of debugging stuff and i think i don't know what are these things at all just reading it for fun in case even we know what is going on anyways you can also paste scripts as you can see we are pasting scripts directly like that you can also paste scripts for linden script from internet even if it's text file it automatically convert to a blocks but if it's like some kind of a very complex script maybe it'll not work as the blocks are not even present in this mod 
or I don't know maybe one or two blocks are hidden or something for some bugs or some kind of stuff like that I think we need to explore a little more on this thing but I don't know anyways yeah that's all I can say about scratch for second life but before going let's just check some of the projects to see how these things work or how they are making this thing so that I could understand what's going on okay when I'm touched point to person owner move one meter move one meter see hop no I have no idea like distance to owner I don't know what is distance to owner means I don't know the meaning of real owner in the game so I cannot demon I cannot say anything hmm door opener let me just check that it looks cool okay this broadcast something open let me just open one more thing let me open the door opener door with use door opener so this is some kind of a door it creates a door i think so it's in single player world or something anyways it's very looking very cool i think so that's all i can say about this video and i hope to see you guys in the next video